Hi, my name is Mabel. I used to work as a celebrity stylist. This work means I get to be close to the stars. Many viewers here must be jealous of me. Please like and subscribe to the LDA channel to listen to my story. After graduating with a design major, I got accepted by an entertainment company. My job was to come up with ideas and present suitable costumes for each company event. After three months of probation, I officially became a stylist for two male singers, who the company was enthusiastically promoting. Here was a secret. One of those two handsome guys was my brother. Did you think it was a gray-haired guy? Nope. It was a red-haired guy with a sunny smell next to him. Oscar. I couldn't hide my happiness working with him. As the cherry on top, my brother's colleague was also an idol I admire. Manager Emma led me into the waiting room. There's probably no girl your age who doesn't know Saint and Oscar, right? Everyone, let's get to know each other. Hello, my name is Mabel. I would be working with you guys in the future. If there is anything you don't like about my work, please feel free to tell me. As for me, I will do my best to pick the best outfits for you guys. Hope we get along well. Hi, cutie. I'm Oscar. Nice to meet you. In the future, please choose better clothes for me than that guy over there. I smiled and nodded slightly without noticing the other guy looking at me with unfriendly eyes. Are you going to dress him better than me? Careful, or I'll fire you. My idol was unfriendly, but I couldn't believe he wanted to fire me upon our first meeting. Kid, I was just joking. You scared her off. You're too old to joke around all the time. And you, if I don't like the clothes you choose, I won't be wearing them. Um, do you have any special notes? I will take notes to avoid making mistakes. My skin is sensitive. It can easily get rashes when wearing fabrics made of synthetic materials, such as polyester, nylon. I also sweat easily. It's best not to choose tight clothes. I'm also allergic to milk. Later, you can only order Americano when you buy coffee for me. Milk allergy? Only Americano? Wait, I'm not your assistant. I don't need to know these things. It's all the same. In my eyes, you're just an extra in the back carrying things, doing odd jobs. What did you say? I am a celebrity stylist who has undergone professional training. I will only do the work that is my duty. Suit yourself. Our first meeting didn't end well. When I got home, I felt quite disappointed that my idol was looking down in my abilities. On the contrary, Oscar was very happy. He even threw a party to celebrate. Working in the same place, I can regularly take care of you from now on. You may not be happy about the fight with Saint, but that's his personality. But don't worry, if he dares to bully my sister, I won't let him alone. I nodded to reassure him. The fact that we are brothers would be kept a secret. But a few days later, Saint refused to wear the outfit I had chosen to get back at me. That afternoon, Oscar was holding an iPad and laughing in the break room. Saint was next to him with an angry face, dark and enraged. Seeing me, Oscar waved his hand. Hello, Mabel. I really like the outfit you chose. You understand my style so quickly. You're so talented. Just doing my job. I hold the notebook to cover my mouth and laugh, thinking Oscar was such an actor. We were his siblings. How couldn't I understand his style? Look, he had it coming. I look at the article title, Breaking News, the opposite airport fashion of Poison's group members. Oscar shown as he stepped out of the novel versus Saint who dressed as he went to the red carpet while going to the airport. You ruined my perfect image. How dare you? I, I'm sorry. Flawless Maya. Every time you choose your own outfit, you get roasted. Don't blame Mabel. I still bowed my head to apologize because I thought my skill was still poor, which displeased Saint. After that incident, Saint no longer opposed me as before, although he sometimes tried to find excuses to criticize me. We have been working together for almost half a year, but he pick a fight with me every few days. In the fitting room, I was busy helping Oscar set the buttons on his shirt, so I didn't hear Saint call me out. 
Saint threw the pillow at me. Ah! Are you deaf? Trying to ignore me now, aren't you? Ouch! It hurts. The needle <gasps> pierced my finger painfully. Saint was about to run to check it, but Oscar was one step ahead. Saint suddenly stopped. Oscar looked at me worriedly. Are you okay, Mabel? What are you acting all mad about? Stop being so rude. It's just a small wound, Oscar. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I was so focused earlier that I didn't know you were calling. What do you need my help with? Screw it. It doesn't matter. I can do it myself. Saint awkwardly walked out, leaving me and Oscar puzzled. Although Saint behaved badly, I didn't hate him at all. I knew Saint was actually not as mean as he acted. That night, I was passing the practice room. Everyone had already left, but the lights were still on and there was music inside. Taking a peek inside, I saw that Saint was still practicing dancing. I hid outside the door and couldn't take my eyes off of it. It was until my legs were numb that I ran down to the convenience store to buy him water and some snacks. When I returned, Saint was nowhere to be found. Bewildered, I found him sleeping in the corner of the room. I squatted down and peeked at him for very close range, raised my finger to sketch the outline of Saint's face, and said in a low voice, You're so cute when you sleep. No more sharp eyes or a malicious mouth that likes to scold me. You, you idiot. I punched the air a few times in front of him and tried not to laugh out loud. I need to take a photo. As I just saved the pictures in my phone, suddenly, Saint's eyebrows furrowed. And I was startled. Was he awake? But he just stirred, adjusting his sleeping posture for comfort, then quietly left. I like Saint, but it was just a love between fans and idols. Until one day, I discovered a secret. That afternoon, I went into the waiting room and found Saint struggling to find something. What are you looking for? Do you need my help? Try calling my phone. I can't find it. On the other end of the line came the voice of a man. Saint panicked. Turned out, he forgot his phone in the practice room, and the security guard picked it up. Saint urged me. Go get it. You know how important an idol's phone is. Unable to refuse, I had to go to the security room to get Saint's phone. The alarm on his phone rang. I swiped a few times to turn it off, but unexpectedly, I accidentally turned it on. Most surprisingly, his background photo was me, and it was a stolen photo that I'd never seen. I had to find Saint and ask what was the meaning of this. When I got there, I heard Saint's voice at the end of the hallway. I approached, only to hear him talking to a man in a suit. Enough playtime. Hurry back and inherit the corporation for me. Dad, stop forcing me, okay? Besides, singing is my passion, not a hobby. The man hit the Saint. I panic. God, why hit the face? Shut up. If you don't want to follow my words, I will use all means to force you to return. Dad, please, I beg you. The man shoved Saint's hand away. The Saint trembled and touched the spot where he had been beaten and ran out. I immediately chased after him. Saint walked down the street without any disguise or cover and bumped into a passerby. Some fans noticed and surrounded Saint. Are you truly Saint? You're so handsome. Can I take a picture with you? Seeing Saint scared, I had to intervene. Sorry guys, Saint is at work so he can take pictures. Please, clear the way for us. Are you lost? Everyone is waiting for you. Saint took my hand and ran away, looking at me as if I was his savior. Where are you taking me? Let's go back. The manager will be very worried if she can find you. No, just shut up and follow me. Saint continued leading me to run. Looking up, we were standing in front of the ferry's wheel. Saint motioned me to go and buy tickets. Knowing he was not in a good mood, I followed his request. We sat across from each other. The ferry's wheel slowly took off from the ground. Neon lights could be seen running along the tall buildings looking outside. The uneven light of the street raised an indescribable feeling in my heart. Seeing Saint sitting quietly, I hesitated unsure of what to say. He was one who broke the silence. Whenever I'm in a bad mood, I usually come here and allow myself to be vulnerable. This Ferris wheel is my secret place. You're the first person I've led here. 
Looking at Saint's lonely appearance, I realized that Saint was not as strong as he always acted. Perhaps in Saint's heart, he had a lot of sadness that he couldn't share with anyone. My thoughts ran wild through my head. I was getting more curious about the guy in front of me, but was too scared to approach him. Seeing how silent I was, Saint changed the subject. In the hallway this afternoon? You saw it, right? You can't tell anybody about it. Are we clear? I promise I won't tell anyone. Okay, I believe you. So, since you already know about this, I, I, I'm actually a stepchild. My family's not as glorious as the press says. This is my biggest secret. Why did he tell me this? Did Saint really trust me? I became flustered, my restless hand suddenly touching my bag. I remembered something and took the phone to Saint. He hurriedly took it. Did you open it? Sorry, I was trying to turn off the alarm, so I accidentally saw. Why, why did you set my picture as a wallpaper? I thought Saint would get angry, but he calmly replied. Don't think I don't know what you did to me at the gym. You, you like me, right? My face turned red and I quickly turned away. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who would like a bad guy like you? Saint grabbed my chin, forced me to look at him and said smugly. Why is your face so red? <laughs> Admit it, you like me. I, I don't. <laughs> Suddenly, Saint's voice turned serious. But I think I've fallen for you. I was stunned by Saint's confession. My brain probably stopped working at that moment. Saint leaned his head on my shoulder and whispered. I know my demands are too much, but you never give up. Hmm? You always find a way to overcome the challenges. This trait of yours draws me to you. Sorry for always acting so childish. I just want all your attention to be on me. My ears were red. I had no idea where to put my hands. Did you just say you like me? You surprised me. I always considered you my idol because I thought there was no way I could be with you. I... Saint gently kissed my frantic hand to reassure. So from now on, you should seriously think about becoming my girlfriend. Our eyes met and I nodded shyly. Saint and I have officially become lovers that day. Of course, we kept our love secret. The dream boy of thousands of girls became my boyfriend. I believe this was what every young girl wants to dream of. In front of everyone, I had to pretend we didn't like each other. In the fitting room, Saint sat in front of the dressing table, constantly shaking his head to show his displeasure with the outfit I chose. This one is ugly. It's so boring. I will pick another one now. How can you still get a job with such poor taste? Hey, you did this on purpose, didn't you? Why do you hate every set I pick? Sensing the smell of gunpowder in the yard between us, the other colleagues quietly left. Sorry, my girlfriend had to be bullied again. I didn't mean to say those words. Hmm, you were really into it. You sure it wasn't what you wanted to say? I hugged him. I felt so happy, only I could see this lovely side of Saint. The door suddenly opened, and I quickly pushed Saint back. The person entering was Oscar. What are you two doing? Where did all the other people go? We didn't do anything. I breathed a sigh of relief and said a few defensive words. Lesson number two, always deny the relationship. But it hmm. seemed my attitude made Oscar suspicious. Afterward, I got in the car first. Oscar and Saint also got in right after. Normally, Saint always sits in the front seat and I sit in the back seat to arrange everything easier. But today, he suddenly came down and sat next to me. Oscar was huh? surprised. Why are you sitting there all of a sudden? Go back to your place. No, the sun is so strong. I don't want to be blinded. What's wrong with you? It's 6 p.m. Where's the sun? Uh, I, I just want to change places. What's wrong with that? Think you can stop me? To prevent any further questions from Oscar, Saint put on a blindfold and pretended to be asleep. I shook my head at his childishness and covered Saint with a thin blanket lest he was cold. When the car started and no one paid any more attention to us, Saint rested his head on my shoulder. The two of us slowly holding hands under the blanket. Cheeks flushed, I look out the window to ease my embarrassment and Saint smiled slightly. I was drowning in happiness. That night, I received a text. Oscar asked me to go up to the rooftop. Drinking beer in the middle of the night, huh? Are you having a bad time? Here's your favorite, banana milk. 
<laughs> it's been so many years, and you still remember? Yeah, my sister's grown up. You already started dating, didn't you? I look at Oscar startled. Did he know about it? How? Have you thought it through? Saint's personality's not very good. I'm afraid he will hurt you. He's not as mean as people think. Saint is very nice to me. You, you won't object, will you? Uh, uh, I don't want to interfere in your love affairs, but falling in love with an idol will bring a lot of trouble. It's just like mine and... Well, forget about it. Are you sure you can handle this? Oscar's face was sad. I knew he was thinking about what happened with his ex-girlfriend. I promised that I could handle this. I believe my relationship with Saint was strong. Oscar was really supportive, but he helped us hide our love many times. However, the reality was far from what we hoped. One morning, Saint's scandal broke out of all over the news. Saint's mother was the third person who destroyed the other people's families. And Saint was a stepchild. The president adored Saint and left his old family behind. He got a lot of criticism. A group of fans also gathered in front of the company gate to protest, demanding the company cancel Saint's status as an idol. Saint fell into despair. All of his activities were frozen. The journalist relentlessly hunted him, and he could only stay at home. He locked himself in his room for a week and didn't eat. I encouraged him, but it didn't seem to work. That night, I used the key Saint gave me to enter his room. The room was messy as if hurricane just swept by. I went to shake him up and found that Saint was hot. He had a high fever. I immediately put cooling patches on Saint and gave him medicine. I stayed by his side to take care of him all night. I held Saint's hand and fell asleep without knowing it. The manager was the one who woke me up. I was shocked when she dragged me to the roof. Are you out of your mind? How dare you enter Saint's room without permission? Please, let me explain. This was a misunderstanding. I found out he had a fever, so I was there to take care of him. There was nothing between us. Emma pulled out her phone and showed me her pictures. Your actions have made me suspicious for a long time. I even have proof. You really don't know your place, huh? He's way out of your league. Do you think you're worthy of Saint's love? Do you want to ruin his career? Don't you know having a relationship is a taboo for idols? I stammered, wanting to explain, but couldn't come up with anything. How could they say our love for each other is so strong that nothing could shake it? Emma's criticism seemed to dissolve my confidence. I stood dumbfounded, listening to Emma's words. Break up with him. Don't let me force you. Emma coldly left. Tears rolled down my cheeks. I didn't want to break up with Saint. I love him too much. Disobeying Emma, I didn't tell Saint about her threat and intentionally kept my distance from him in front of Emma. But she wouldn't leave me alone. Emma oh. constantly caused trouble to make my life miserable. <laughs> in the past month, the company spent a large amount of money to hide the bad news and justify Saint's scandal. The public quickly forgot, but it was still a sensitive time. Saint must pay close attention to his image. A tabloid mm. newspaper published <gasps> pictures of me and Saint scheming female staff who took advantage of her profession to touch male idols. This article made the public sympathize with Saint and huh? successfully directed all criticism towards me. I immediately went to find Emma, who shrugged her shoulders as if she had nothing to do with it. Don't lie. The pictures in the newspaper are the ones you showed me yourself. You are so sly. Thank you for the compliment. I warn you, this is your own choice. I will help report to the company. What's your proof? Who will believe you? Are you going to tell everybody that you're dating Saint to prove it? <laughs> the boss is waiting for you. Feel free to explain to them. The company fired me. With a heavy heart, I went back to our house to pack up. That was when I met Oscar in the living room. I burst into tears and hugged him. Oscar patted my head to comfort me. Just right when Saint entered, he saw it all. Having always been jealous of Oscar, Saint ran to Oscar and pulled him by the collar. Not wanting the two of them to fight, I stopped Saint, but it only angered him even more. Throughout the night, no matter how much I tried to contact Saint, he didn't give me a chance to explain. The next morning, the company held a press conference. I didn't know how Emma brainwashed a Saint, but he meekly played a victim and turned me into a horrible person. 
I didn't expect that employee would take advantage of her position to approach and deliberately seduce me. I don't know if she's tricked any male idol other than me or not. I feel extremely confused right now. I stood among the reporters below, looking at Saint, surprised by the lies he told. Did he just sacrifice our love for the sake of his reputation? Saint saw me. <gasps> his eyes panicked and he quickly ducked his head to hide. At that moment, I realized that our relationship was really over. I sent Saint a lot of texts, hoping he would give me an explanation, but no response. That night, I was drunk and hugged Oscar, lamenting. He was the one who wanted to start this relationship, and he was the one to break it. What does he take me for? Where are our feelings up until now a lie? Seeing me suffer and how mistreated, I was made Oscar extremely angry. I faintly heard him speak. I told you, those who dare to bully my sister will pay the price. A week later, the messages when Saint and I were still in relationship were exposed in the newspaper. Huh? I was also surprised, not knowing why my private messages with Saint were leaked like that. The pictures we took together were also released, including videos. Saint fell into a wave of boycotts. People called him by all kinds of nicknames. Two-Face Idol, Coward. But everything didn't just end there. When the company was in turmoil, Oscar held a press conference. He wanted to leave the company because he couldn't accept the act of selling an idol's private pictures and news. It turned out that Oscar had found a reporter who often did bad things with Emma and reported them to the police. Those two would have to go to the court soon. Saint had no choice but to publicly apologize to me in public. But his image couldn't be saved. And after a while, I didn't hear from him anymore. Are you curious about how I am? I can't say I'm completely satisfied because I'm actually still a bit heartbroken. I feel sore for the effort Saint put in the past. I regret that I believe the wrong person.